Okay, it's time to get started on our generator project. And we've got the generator, we've got the cubicle area, but we've got some work to do on both of those things. And so the place I'm going to start is here in the cubicle. We need to fix the wiring to the controls. We also need to fix the electrical wiring. We also need to find where the fuel line is underneath and reconnect that. We need to connect to the batteries. We need to take this board out and probably move this divider and a bunch of other stuff in there. With the generator itself, I did a few things. I replaced the spark plugs. I replaced the air filter. Um, we have a new control board. So took the control board out, of course labeled the wires, um, but we have a new control board because the other one was defective. Uh, the person we bought this from said that the engine ran when he tested it, but it wasn't generating. And so we'll also need to figure out what's going on there. I did test the rectifier and it tested okay. So there must be some other problem and we'll need to troubleshoot that after I kind of have things squared away here because then I can connect the wires and the controls and the fuel and be here close to where it's actually going to end up while I test the generator. So the place to start is getting in here. I'm going to clean off the back and the sides. I need to take the batteries out. I need to take this floor out and I'm going to insulate this and then start putting things back together. We have the bracket here that will bolt up to the frame. We have the uh, cabinet, the power cabinet also, and a shield here for the muffler. So once I get it insulated, I'll work on putting those things together, uh, repairing the wiring and getting ready to uh, connect things to the generator to do some testing. Okay, we've been working on taking out the wood floor to this area and it's been a bit of a challenge because it's been all caulked in with what looks like a polyurethane adhesive and so I'm having to cut it out and use a crowbar, crowbar and a sledgehammer so these types of tools to get it out but we've got about oh most of it out I've got some cleanup to do got a little bit more to get out right here but then once we get this out I think I may actually be able to leave this piece over here for the battery tray um, just looking at the width of the generator I think it may fit over here without having to take this out I went ahead and took the batteries out just so that they'd be out of the way for this part but um, so far looks like it's going okay Okay, so we got all of the insulation installed and there are a couple of tips that we picked up. So one of them is I used a roller like this to make sure that it stuck well and rolled it in. It is about 50 degrees today where we are, which is really too cold to install this. And so uh, I would recommend doing it maybe at 80 degrees. Uh, if it's too hot, it's probably going to be um, sticky and hard to work with. Um, but in 50 degree weather, what I did is I used a space heater to heat up the areas that I was working. I also held the insulation, the butyl side toward it before I stuck it on to warm it up. And then I used the roller to make sure it was stuck really well. And that seemed to work really just fine. It seems to be well stuck. And I think we'll, we'll see over the next few days if it starts to peel off or anything. But overall, uh, having it warmed up so that it actually sticks well is good. Uh, I'll link to the insulation that I used here, but I used a, a full roll to do this area and I got most of it covered. I mainly focused on this side where the generator is going to be. I put a little bit on the other side where the battery is um, just to help kind of quiet things down a little bit if we can. But next step is to start working on the install of the hardware. All right, so we've got the cabinet in now and this took a bit of work so uh, just a moment ago we finished up the insulation uh, I went ahead and installed the batteries again there's another video that talks a little bit about the tray that I installed with the batteries 
that's not really the main point here. The main point is getting the generator mechanically installed. So I found that this bracket down here was best bolted to this piece before I installed it. There wasn't really a good way to get to all of these bolts once I you know, had this bottom part bolted up to the frame. Um, so I did, I just supported the frame in the front and the back while I was doing that just to, to be safe while I was working underneath the coach. But uh, this bolted up pretty nicely. Our waste valve comes through this. Now this might be a problem when we get the generator installed depending on where the muffler is. So there may be some more work to do there. I don't think this is common. I think in most cases it's a little bit further back here, I guess forward of where the generator is. So we'll see about that. Um, but it bolted up nicely. We've got this uh, heat shield or kind of rock protector uh, installed here. Uh, I could not find uh, torque specs for these four bolts that hold this piece to the frame. Um, so just looking at the size of the bolt and other torque specs, I went with 80 foot-pounds, which I think should be should be just fine. But overall, this is nice and sturdy. It feels good. So next step will be to install the side rails here and up here, and then work on getting the generator itself up to mount to those slide rails so it can slide in. And the goal here is just to get the mechanical work done do another video about the wiring and the fuel line and electrical and, and all of those things. All right, so we're ready to put in the generator. I borrowed a great motorcycle hydraulic jack that has basically a platform that will lift this up so that I can lift it up and, and line it up. Uh, I've also lowered the coach down so that I don't have so far to go with this and I may adjust the height on either one a bit to get it lined up. But I've got the rails installed. So these will be my mount points. I need to lift this up and get it in position so that I can bolt it into the rails and then it should slide right in. I'm not worrying about the fuel line or the battery connections or the AC power connections right now. That'll be a separate video where I'll talk about actually getting this running and making it generate and getting the, the project all done. This is the installation piece, which we're just about finished with. Okay, so I've got it bolted up and there are two bolts on the front of the rail and two bolts on the back of the rail on each side. And so I got, I got that all bolted up. I did need to adjust the angle of the coach a little bit based on how my uh, motorcycle lift here was, was holding the generator. Um, but this worked great. Having a flat platform for it to sit on made this nice and stable as I was wiggling it around and adjusting things to, to get it bolted up. So the bolts are good and um, really I think mechanically we're in pretty good shape and so we can take away the jack, slide it in, and we should be in pretty good shape. Uh, now, I found that, I did that just a moment ago, and the overall generator is hanging a little bit low, and so it doesn't slide all the way in. I'll pull away the, the jack here and uh, show what that looks like. And I think I'm gonna do another video where I'll talk about replacing the motor mounts because I think that is the problem. So here's uh, it's kind of what that, what that looks like. And one thing that I thought here is this looked like it was hanging down a little bit low. It slides in pretty nice and then hits the bottom of the frame there. And so there are four motor mounts that basically attach the main body, the, the engine itself and the generator to the frame and the rails. And so I think by replacing those, I'll be able to, to get this fixed up a little bit better, but I'll do another video on that later. As far as getting this cubicle all ready for a generator and getting the generator mechanically installed, 
all of that I think is done. So future videos are going to be fixing the motor mounts, getting the generator running, making sure it's generating, wiring everything into the coach, and you know maybe other things that we discover along the way. But this is a great first step to having a working generator.